Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 25th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 20, Jeremiah chapter 47 and 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And our thought is, do you not know? We live in a world which likes to say you are the most important person. Self-centeredness is encouraged, and that is understandable if you believe there is no God. That everything that exists just evolved, mysteriously creating itself. But we know this is all a human delusion. We must look at the reality of life from God's perspective. And Paul is a great help to us, for that is how he sees life as we read today in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 as he encourages the believers to see life from his perspective. Some of them were misbehaving. There is sexual immorality in Corinth. He asks, Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Verse 15. Then he adds another question. Do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? Verse 16. These points are a prelude to his appeal to them to see the bigger picture of what their lives really should become, to grow, to see spiritual realities, recognising more and more their position as members of Christ. That is a wonderful, but at the same time, a challenging vision to conceive in our mind. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you which you have from God. This is followed by an equally significant point. You are not your own. You are bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Verses 19 and 20. How can we do or do we accomplish this? In verse 17 we read, He who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. A unique oneness of mind develops. But recall what we read at the end of chapter 2. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God. They are spiritually discerned. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. The next chapter shows the Corinthians had not yet developed this. And us? The Corinthians were not yet spiritual people, but infants in Christ, as we read in chapter 3, verse 1. What about us? Another vital question is, how do we glorify body in our body? How did Jesus? He set the example, followed by Paul, and our Lord had total commitment to serve God in all that he said and that he did, to make God's will his will. As we do this, we realise more and more clearly what it is to have the mind of Christ. As we change the way we think, we become more and more selective of things in life that help us to become more like Christ. Do you not know this? Is Christ the most important person in your life. He should be. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.